Welcome to Chatufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Greetings, lovers of change all over the world. Welcome to Chatufa Chete Chete, Chatufa Television Production, and we are here on the platform of change as we continue to give you updates of what is happening in the nation, what is happening in our struggle towards the freedom of the Zimbabwean people. As pressure continues to mount on Emerson Munangagwa and Zanu PF following their you know, unfairness, unfair treatment on Zimbabweans, the abductions, the arrests, the torture, and the like. More and more voices are coming out to speak against Mnangagwa and all that he is doing in Zimbabwe. And Mnangagwa continues to be cornered uh, with many voices, progressive voices, democratic voices, and, uh, you know, organizations that are pushing for democracy in, in the world. They continue to speak against what Mnangagwa has done, while Sadiq still remains mum. Julius Malema of the EFF joins in condemning Mnangagwa and Sadiq with, uh, uh, and he stands with the Zimbabwean people. And Malema has condemned Sadiq and called it the Big Brothers Club, uh, who are only talking about their brotherhood and protecting their brotherhood and, uh, at the expense of the citizens. And this indeed is an issue that we have always been talking about, why Sadiq seems to be not taking any action when Emerson Mnangagwa is... Uh, doing such kind of acts, brutality, arrest, and torture that we are seeing in Zimbabwe, uh, all in the name of the preparations of the Sadiq summit, especially when Sadiq knows that he is doing it in preparation of their summit. If, they, if Mnangagwa has been doing this for on his own, then there was not going to be any issue. There was not going to be any problem uh, because people would say, no, is there issues in their country? But now that it is being done in the name of Sadiq, Sadiq definitely this time around, we're supposed to be found to be saying something or intervening in one way or the other. But unfortunately, we don't have a, 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 a Sadiq with teeth in, a, in, in our region. This Sadiq that we have is a, just a toothless bulldog, and we don't expect it to do much. We have been expecting it to do much in the family. You remember I've been saying that uh, I think it's high time we just forget about this Sadiq and expect, never expect them to do anything. Otherwise, it's no more this BP passy. Uh, to no funny BP because of this Sadiq thing. Let's just forget about what Sadiq can do. Even if they come out and speak, we should never be taking that, uh, I mean, whatever they say uh, 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 at face value. We must not really quickly to trust. We Let's uh, wait until we can see them doing something that is much, much reasonable. So we continue to thank uh, Comrade Malema and the EFF. Remember last time it was the DA also who came out and spoke, and also Musima Imani, who also came and spoke out and uh, continued to condemn Emerson Nangagwa with the call that South Africa must uh, withdraw ties with the ZANU PF, especially the ANC, Ramaphosa, must pull, uh, must withdraw ties with ZANU PF because of these human rights abuses that are being uh, perpetrated on the Zimbabwean people by this regime, uh, which is undemocratic and uh, unelected. And it is just a, a, a group of people who have forced themselves upon the Zimbabwean people. And our Zimbabwean people are unhappy. And our Zimbabwean people still maintain that this is not the government that we have chosen. This is not the leader that we have chosen. And that is not going to change whether the Sadiq summit happens, whether Mnangagwa becomes chair of it. But as for the Zimbabwean people, we will remain standing on the same ground, speaking that Mnangagwa is illegitimate and illegal. So we want to continue to thank all the progressive forces that are coming out and speaking on behalf of the Zimbabwean people, those that are standing with the masses of Zimbabwe to defend the democracy, to defend the rule of law for Zimbabwe. And indeed, when we continue to have more and more progressive voices speaking, it is really going to be helping out to show exactly the whole world for them to know who Mnangagwa is and what Mnangagwa is doing in Zimbabwe. And that one day, this is going to be a thing of the past. We are definitely going to see the end of all this brutality when ZANPA finally is out. Because the way that they are behaving, they are not going to be lasting longer. So let's uh, just uh, have a, a listen to uh, the video where uh, the uh, CIC of the EFF spoke about the situation in Zimbabwe. The Zimbabwean youth must rise because... That nonsense will never come to an end as long as there is no unity of purpose against the tyranny 
against the suppression of political wishes of Zimbabweans. So, ourselves at Pan African Parliament, at the AU, at SADC, we have to have a political will to speak for the people of Zimbabwe. When it comes from us, it will have more weight than when it comes from Europe. Why? Exactly. I think I do agree with him there. We should be having more and more of our own local progressive part, uh, democratic parties speaking, especially from SADC. We must be hearing also all the opposition parties that are in other countries, Botswana, uh, you know, uh, in uh, Angola, in uh, Namibia and the like, also coming out to speak uh, about these atrocities and support the plight of the Zimbabwean people. Like he's saying that it makes more uh, sense and it is more effective if it is coming from uh, people that are next door to us, people that are also sharing the same region with us and people that are, are also benefiting or are also connected to this very subject that is continuously uh, remaining mum while citizens of Zimbabwe are being tortured. Right? Because we're brothers and sisters, they will know it's a friendly fire. But SADC, AU, South Africa, they are failing Zimbabweans because it's a brusque up. It's friendship. It's brother, brother. Brother, brother, leader. Brother, brother. When they meet, brother, 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 brother. <laughs> and then when you ask what is the resolution, no one has taken any resolution. So you need a clear position from SADC which gives the timelines that by this time, this should have happened. But otherwise, Mnangangwa is going to come back. And he's got nothing to offer at all. So, Chiwenga is done. He will not be anything. They used him. Chiwenga is no longer the most powerful military man in Zimbabwe now. They have weakened him. So, only the power of the youth of Zimbabwe can change the political status quo. And the Zimbabweans have to know that we are with them. Including Zimbabweans who are here in South Africa. Yes, thank you so much for that very statement. And indeed, like he says, that the youth of Zimbabwe are the people that are supposed to rise. So as we have always been saying, that young people, remember, this is your future that is at stake here. Remember Joshua Nkomo? said that this country is not going to die. The young people of this country are going to save it. Indeed, young people, I think prophetically, uh, Father Zimbabwe spoke and he was indeed talking about a period such as this one, where we are now need to get rid of ZANPF once and for all. Our young people in Zimbabwe, our young people all over the world, let us gear up, gear up for what is coming. Because this very demonstration that is coming uh, during this sadic, very stupid sadic summit, we are going to be out there in full force. And to make sure that things happen, we are going to make sure that we push until we get victory. We are going to make sure that our voice is ahead. We cannot continue to tolerate the kind of treatment that we are being given by Emerson Nangagwa, especially considering that he has not been elected by anyone. His government has stolen the election and we could be having a different election or rather a different government right now as we speak. But unfortunately, because of their shenanigans, they have stolen the election. And above that, they want to come and also continue to attack us and arrest us and cause us to suffer. So that is one thing that we are saying as Zimbabwean people, enough is enough. We are tired of this and we definitely need to do something about it. So it is our time. It is the time for the youth, the youth out there, Zimbabweans out there, Zimbabwe in Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe outside Zimbabwe. This is our season of change. This is our time to fight. This is our time to rise up against Mnangagwa, against oppression, against corruption, nepotism, against against the dictatorship and the brutality that we have continued to see Mnangagwa perpetrating on us, and we cannot continue to be quiet. I know why ZANU-PF has become so arrogant. It is because we, as the people, we have been quiet for too long. We have been too soft for too long. I think it's a high time. It is time that we are coming out. And the leaders are also speaking out there. They are saying, we are on. They are saying, we are pushing on. They are saying, Zimbabwe, make sure that we are coming out of the, into those streets to make sure that we push for change. We push and remove the government of thieves and the government of murderers. We can't continue to have a government like Mnangagwa's government, a government that does not respect the people of Zimbabwe. If they don't respect us, then we don't need them. 
if they can't see that we are there, then we should not see them. That's the truth of the matter. If Mnangagwa does not respect Zimbabweans, he must not expect respect from Zimbabwean people. Why should we be reciprocating the, res the disrespect, if, uh, if the respect? If he is not respecting us, we can't be respecting him back. We will tell him to go. No matter how old he is, we will tell him that you are a thief. We are tired of you. You are a murderer. We don't want to see you. You, are th you, you stole the elections. You must simply go. And Zimbabwe must be freed. And that we are going to say it. We don't even want to hear uh, somebody. I heard somebody saying that ah, you must speak disrespectfully uh, to Mnangagwa because he's president. He's not president. He stole. If he wanted to be president, he should have allowed Zimbabwean people to choose him. And right now he wants to go to 2020 by force. He wants to force Zimbabwean people again instead of hearing whether Zimbabwean people want you to be there. So if you are coming and you are putting a, 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 an X or a gun on our head for you to be president, and then you should never expect us to be respecting you as a president. You are not, you don't, you are not worth our respect. All that we are saying is ZANU-PF and Mnangagwa, it is time for you to go. Just leave our country. We just want our country. We don't care what you have done to it. You have destroyed the country. You have plundered the goods in Zimbabwe. We don't care. But all that we are saying is just pack your bags and go and leave Zimbabwe for the Zimbabweans. We are going to start working hard on that very nation and lift it from where it is, where you have pulled it to the last to, to the, the, the last laughing stock of the world. But we know that we are definitely going to work. People, the right people will come into those offices and those people will start to make sure that Zimbabwe goes back to its original. Zimbabwe must rise and become a better nation, a progressive nation, a nation of progress, not a nation that is dying because we have seen death for a very, very long time now. It's a country dying and we can't tolerate it anymore. Zimbabwe must arise. Zimbabwe must speak out. We have all these other progressive forces in support of us and we are saying thank you to Julius Malema and the EFF for standing with the Zimbabwean people. To continue to speak out. We know that one way or the other, the voices shall be heard. Thank you so much, family, for joining me on this show. Remember, as always, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, subscribe, like, and share. We shall be meeting in the upcoming shows. Remain blessed and shalom.